I did survive from Scrappy Mania and today I'm going to show you a new technique. I want to show you how to create these three D dimensional flowers. As you can see here, this is another one that I created. And these are some of the flowers. And, that, and I'm going to show you a layout that I'm going to create using these type of flowers. What inspired me to do these flowers is a designer called Anna Griffin. Anna Griffin is a scrapbook. Actually, she does, she's more into textiles, um, invitation, car making. But she also do, does a lot of scrapbook products. So she makes a lot of scrapbook products. She's, in, she's on HSN a lot. And she sells these wonderful flowers and embellishments and things like that. This is an example of one of her um, albums that she sells. And these are an example of some of the layouts that she creates with a lot of flowers. She even sells those flowers on HSN that you can buy a pack of 72 flowers for like $25 plus, $25 plus shipping and handling. But she does beautiful work. All those flowers. Um, and as you can see, all these nice dimensional flowers. I love, love, love her papers. I do like the way she, she scraps. But I wanted to kind of see if I can make it a little more affordable. Um, so I bought this flower and fruit books. It's a clip art book. And if you look at these, it has a lot of wonderful images in this book. It comes, the beauty about this book, it comes with a CD-ROM. So all the images that you see here are actually part of a CD-ROM. And then what I did is I imported the images. So the CD-ROM has all the images and you can take the images off the CD-ROM and um, put them in your computer. And that's what I did. So I took all the images out of my CD-ROM and they, right now they're in my hard drive on my computer. So then you take this these flowers because when you when you when you import the image they import just like this but to create the three-dimensional piece as you can see here you need to cut layers on your flowers as you can see there so what you do is you cut layers and then you put foam adhesive and you um, pop them up like this one see these layers so let me show you so let me get rid of this so you want to create these layers like you see here, okay? And then what you do is you're going to use foam adhesive and you're going to place that there with foam adhesive. You're going to take this layer, you're going to put it here, here, and this one here. But in order to do this, so what you do is, what I do is, here's my page. So I'm going to teach you how you're going to take an image like this, so it's going to import just like this, and I'm going to teach you how you're going to break it apart using Photoshop Element. You need a photo editing software. I only know how to use Photoshop Elements um, and Photoshop, and barely know how to use it. I'm not an expert on that, so, but I can do simple things like cutting out layers within an image and paste in and and and, and breaking them apart like this in order to create my flower. So here's an example of some. Now you can make it out of cardstock, makes it a little sturdy, or you can do it out of regular paper. So this one is regular paper. And look at some of the other image. Now this one, I'm also going to show you on the on this recording how to um, edit the image, how to darken it, how to sharpen it make it a little more brighter and, and that it, it looks more real. But look at the other ones that I've created. These are a bunch of them and they all come from that one book. This book. I was able to create all these. Here's another one. So these are some of the ones that I've been practicing. And then these are the wonderful... Um, flowers that you create. So this is one flower. Here's another flower that I created. And I've been having fun with this stuff. Look at this one. This is gorgeous. This is very nice. Imagine this one and then you add some more flowers to it. Um, you can make a little bush here like something like that. I mean they're just real nice. I really like this technique. So let's go over and I'm going to show you how to do it so um, 
I'm going to show you how to do it on the photo editing software, Photoshop, and then we'll come back and assemble a flower. So I'm going to show you how to um, create those flowers, my three-dimensional flowers. So you're going to need a software, a Photoshop, either Photoshop or photo editing software. So I ha right now I have Photoshop elements open. And then you're going to go ahead and dab you can download the, the, the book. So I, I took the CD out of that um, flower book and I downloaded it into my hard drive. So now when I open my Photoshop element, I go into open and I'm going to go ahead and look for my images, which I created a file that says images right here. I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to go ahead and open this image right here. And you're going to hit open. So as you can see, here's the image. So um, I want to, it, it's a little too light. So you can adjust the image quality by going into Enhance and Auto Fix. And that will makes it a little darker. So I like that color. And you can play with this. I'm not the greatest on... Um, Photoshop. I just know how to do basic things. I know how to convert things black and white and things like that, but I'm not real good at it. But I do know how to use the smart, the auto smart fix, and you can do that. And you can also adjust the sharpness. So if you click on that, you can adjust the sharpness if you want on the image. And you, as you sharpen the, the, the um, sharp it see how it gets a little darker and um, you might want to I think that will look nice a little sharper and then hit OK and it sharpens your image so it, to me it, if you sharpen it it looks a little more realistic especially as you cut it out so now that I have sharpened my image um, I do not I like to save it on a different file, I you know once you adjust the image and once you clear it or or do whatever you're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and save my original and I'm gonna rename this file. I'm gonna say save as, and then I'm gonna call it um, rose um, rose rose one or whatever you wanna name it. So I'm gonna name it rose one and then I'm gonna make sure I put it somewhere. So I've been putting stuff in in this um, folder that says Anna Griffin like flowers so I'm just gonna add it there and I accept the defaults so there I saved it off so now um, I'm gonna go ahead so this is so I saved I've saved the original so I'm gonna go ahead and create another file so I'm gonna go into file because this is the one that's gonna contain um, all my cut pieces of my flower and I'm going to do blank and then I'm going to adjust the size so this is the size that I want eight eight and a half by eleven so I'm going to accept that um, sometimes it does default to pixels so if it does have pixels you're going to go ahead and drop this box down and select inches and then put the size of your paper so my size of the paper is 8.5 and actually I'm going to go ahead and be very precise. Okay, so now I have another layer. So this is one of my layers. So I'm going to select the Move tool. Okay, make sure you have selected the Move tool. So that way you can highlight your image and you can move it over to your new um, background paper that you just created. So now this remember this is an eight and a half by eleven. That's a that flower is a little too large for our layout. So I'm gonna shrink it in. So I think that's a perfect size for my flowers. I'm gonna click this checkbox to make it to um, set the size, and then I now I can close this one out. So I don't need that one anymore. I got this one. Okay. And then I'm going to 
click on my um, magnifying glass and I'm going to make sure that I have highlighted the um, plus, the, the zoom in button, as you can see there. And I want to zoom in because I want to make sure that I really pay attention to all the lines and, and the area. Because I'm going to start selecting some of these areas so that way I can create another layer to my flowers. So now that I have completed that, I'm going to go back here. Now that I can see it well, um, I'm going to go back here and select this one as the quick selection tool. So it's something that looks like this. It has a little, like looks like a little wand and then like a little lasso at the end of the wand. So I'm going to select that. And then notice that it has a plus sign right there. So plus means I'm going to add to the selection. So I'm going to add this piece to the selection and you just keep clicking and I'm going to probably add that. Now notice that I selected a little too much. It went past my white area. Yeah, I might leave that there. So I'm just clicking all the areas that I want to include in my selection. Okay. So I noticed that I selected some areas that I may not want to bring into my image to my um, first layer or the second layer. Actually, the first layer will be the flower, flower itself. The second layer will be um, like these three, this, the rose, this, this white flower, and then this kind of crimson flower. So I, I do not want to probably bring this white area along with my flowers. So I'm going to go up here to the left um upper um side of my um of my photoshop element program right here where it has another little one and it has a negative sign this is subtract from selection so i'm going to click on that and i'm going to subtract and notice when i click on that it went the the selection went closer to my flower okay and I'm going to go ahead and let's see what else is selected. No, actually, I want to select that piece. Hold on. Let me go back and go ahead and select that piece. And I think I'm go Oh, here. I need to subtract from this area. I don't really want to select this area. I do want to select part of this rose there. Okay. So I'm going to subtract from the bottom portion of my crimson flower. So I'm going to go ahead and click here and notice that the selection line goes right against the flower itself. So now that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and click on edit, copy. And then I'm going to go back to edit, paste. Okay, it created another layer. And then I'm going to go back to my move tool. And I'm going to move over that piece. See? So there's that. That's my second layer. So now from here, I want to see, you know, I really want to pop out, pop the rose, the white flower, and the crimson flower, those are the three flowers that I would like to have it selected on its own. So that way it really looks dimensional. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to my wand. And this is the um, quick selection tool. So I'm going to go back to my quick selection tool. And then I'm going to make sure that I have the plus sign. Right now, you notice that I have the, the minus, the, the subtract selection so, uh, tool selected. So I'm going to go back to the top left and click on Add to Selection. And then I'm going to go ahead and select. Okay, so notice that I did take bring across some white area which I do not want to have so I go back to subtract from selection oops and I did a little too much so let's go back to add to selection 
Okay, so that looks pretty good. And what I'm going to do is go now I'm going to go back to edit, copy, edit, paste, and then go into the move tool, bring one down, go back to the selection tool, and do the same thing to this flower. Okay, so now I made, I w created my different layers. So this is going to be one layer and these are my other layers. So if I want to create two of these, what I can do is I can. So what you do is each, so all these are layers. So what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate the layers. So the layer that you want to copy, you go on the lower left, like you, I mean, lower right, like you see there. And I right click and say duplicate layer. When I do that, it copies that layer. And then because I have the move the move tool already selected, it's going to just let me move my different layers around my page. So you keep doing this until you have two copies of the cut flower. And then you want to zoom out because you want to see exactly what you created so far. And you start moving your different layers around the page to kind of make sure that when it prints, you're not going to print, no flower is going to print on top of the other flowers. Okay, so now I got my cut sheet, how I call it. So the next thing I like to do is I like to flatten my image. So I'm going to go in here and select layer and I'm going to flatten the image and what it does it creates one sheet without all that layer and then this one you're going to go ahead and hit save as and this is going to be um, rows arrangement and then hit and save it in whatever file you want to save so hit OK so now I'm ready to print it. So once you, you got your um, the image how you want it, you're going to go ahead and click on print. And see all my areas. It looks good. So now I'm going to create two copies. Because I usually, when I do one, I like to do two. And I'm going to hit print. <laughs> and continue. And it's gonna print my image, and then we'll come. And we're gonna come back and um, put the flower together. Okay, so we're back, and let me go ahead and assemble a flower. So I went ahead and printed it out, and I cut everything up, and I put foam adhesive in all my layers. So this is the first flower. So this is the first layer. Then you're gonna take your second layer. And we're going to take off the foam adhesive. And carefully, we're going to place it down. So sometimes I like to um, take something that I can hold and really precisely place it on top of my bottom image, like you see there. So you want to match it up, make sure you align your flowers. So you want to make sure you align it. And then, oops, I forgot to put some foam adhesive on that one. So I'm going to go ahead and get some foam adhesive. Make sure I line it. 
and then press down. And there is your three dimensional flower. Stay tuned for my next video in where I'm going to show you how to create a layout using, I'm not using those flowers, but actually I'm using these flowers with, I'm, crea I'm using this arrangement and I'm going to show you how I created a layout using this arrangement, my 3D flowers. And also I am using the new Anna Griffin um, folder, embossing folder. So I'm going, to create, I'm going to show you how to create a layout using the embossing folder and my flowers. And we shall be back. So stay tuned for my second video on how to um, put these flowers to use. Thank you for watching. Bye.